Let's kick it off. Let's kick it off. <laughs> Come on. All right, everyone. We are here with a special guest. We have actor Rick Hoffman in studio. If you are listening audio-wise, guys, it's happened. It's here. Oh Rick God. Hoffman is here. <laughs> oh God. This is l- Suits is such a massive thing that if you don't know, Lewis Litt, Suits, you are like a, the Suits is, uh, has had a renaissance, you have, one might say. Listen, it is, first of all, it is, thank you for having me. It is a, it is a absolute privilege to be here to, to, to the thought of being able to talk about a show that had been over four and a half years ago <laughs> and, and that it's a renaissance yes. to me, all of these things, it, 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 I, I, I just, it's, it's mind blowing in the mm-hmm. sense that, you know, we had our great nine years of, you know, fun and putting all our hard work into it. And then the pandemic happened and we were like, okay, well, you know, we're going to have to move on to something else. We got over the depression of having that wonderful job. Right. And then out of nowhere during the strike, while I'm living in Canada, I start getting <laughs> texts and phone calls from people that I haven't spoken to in 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, talking about, hey, dude, you're on this great show. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's over. What, yeah. <laughs> what was that like when you started? Like, what was the first phone call that you got where you were like, wait, why is this picking up steam again? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a high school friend of mine, um, Tara, she'll be very, very, she'll, she'll be excited to know that I mentioned her name. Yeah. Hey, Tara. Um, that <laughs> she was name. like, you you guys are blowing up right now. Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, you don't understand. It's like everybody's watching it on Netflix. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, I ended up putting it together. I mean, because it's clearly, you know, the curiosity of Megan. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 you can't deny. I mean, it was just everybody was so curious about her. Netflix did an amazingly brilliant thing. They released the freaking show yeah. finally on U.S. Mm-hmm. Netflix. Right. We were popular in Canada. We were popular in you know a lot of countries, not of the U.S. You were like, I was walking around Canada getting stopped yeah. left and right. We were, yeah. Like, oh, if I was like, like Oprah in New Zealand. Right I'm not kidding. One of my best friends from high school was making fun of me. Like, let's see how. And everywhere you went in New Zealand. That's incredible. I mean, I was like, how do you like that? <laughs> yeah. But you were like, that's why I haven't moved back to the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> but then in the U.S., it was, you know, I had my share of like, hey, love your character, but never like it is now. Right, right, right. And because it's, but, it's not like it wasn't popular. You guys did nine seasons. Mm-hmm. Not right. But but ultimately what happened was like to continue this. Yeah. They the curiosity of, of my, one of my coworkers, you know, she they they wanted to see what she was all about on the show naturally and she's great on the show and 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 the show then they go you know something the show isn't bad (laughs) and then it spread like freaking wildfire Mm -hmm. and we could do nothing about it because we were in the middle of the strike we were sitting on our hands and it was just this like oh my like what are we what can we do and we but it was thrilling were you even allowed to talk about it? No. Because of the story? So you couldn't even be like, wow, guys. I couldn't do this. You. No. Yeah. Couldn't do this. I, I remember, I think it was, I think Patrick had like posted just one like Instagram post about the sh- about Wait, suits. Did you hear that? Yeah. 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 It's, that, <laughs> yeah. it's that nice ASMR. Yes. yes that nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patrick, yeah. He, and, he, and like one post, everyone was like, what are you doing? You can't put like, and then, I think he had, I think he took it down, but it was like, that's how crazy it was that even just you like one. You can't do a thing. It was anymore. crazy. Yeah. You can't do anything yeah. mm-hmm. without somebody chastising you. Right. Yes. Yeah, so I I'm think that was like, hey, you're on strike. Right now yeah. for saying chastise. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They'd be like, I can't believe he's how admitting he that chastise? you can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're what, like for weeks then it's number one. Like when you open up Netflix, it's. Months. And, and Let me just tell and, you. Right. Months. It didn't months. have like the that most actually, watched true. show on Netflix ever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, it's, some it's, stat, yeah. like I mean, we all watched it. We like, see the stats <laughs> run in, roll in now. It's like, oh my god, it's crazy. I remember I told I told my parents I was like, you guys got to get on this. Like everyone's watching Suits right now. They were like, all right, well, we'll we'll, we'll get started. They yeah. called me a week later. They were like, we finished. I'm like, oh, you finished that? You finished that fast? Like everyone started watching it, and then you know we we've taken our time. Yeah, I'm sure. enjoying I've been saving it, it right. because you don't want to fly through it so fast. Right. Nine seasons, boom. Done. Yeah, and I, still yeah. a lot of episodes because you know when you're it's not. Uh, 
Like some of these streaming service shows, you know, they make eight episodes, it's mm-hmm. ten episodes a season. Yeah. And you guys made there's a lot of episodes. Recently, I had uh, I was taking a very long flight to South Africa, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to binge watch something, and I binge watched Made. Mm. I don't know if you know that show, mm-hmm. Made. Yeah. Really, it's, it was really well done, and I was so glad to have a g- nice show to like be interested in that passed the time where I could zone out and watch eight to nine episodes on that flight. If you get sick for a week, if you just need to sort you know, really Suits was one of the last shows that had that length yep. that you can do that. Mm-hmm. And I think during that time, it just was one of those right timing things. People needed to hug on to something and get to know some characters that some appealed to them, some didn't. And it just was one of those like, you know, alignment of the stars where everybody was kind of like, we need to watch something over the summer. And that's yeah. what happened. Is this the the kind of show now where you're like, OK, so you did a, a commercial. There was a, a, the Elf Super Bowl commercial and the other guys are doing commercials and you had to wait till the strike was over. Um, are you happy to be happy to be back in this role kind of or are you like, well, the time passed. Right. You mean as an actor? Yeah. Like, are um, you like. Mm, we're well, over this or we're back in Right, it. like did you close the chapter on Lewis Lit and now it's like, okay, wow, it's I'm back so, in. So, you know, I'm absolutely, like for instance, if people, because people ask, well, would you, you know, would you guys do, because uh, there's a Suits LA now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people ask, is there going to be another season and things like that. So for, in my personal opinion, Suits LA needs to be Suits LA. Yeah. Like Suits with Suits. Those actors need to have their time. They need to have their own breathing room to form, because the show's not, I mean, any show doesn't ultimately immediately know what it is to get rolling. So let them have their time, and then we can answer the question of whether or whether or not we want to maybe eventually, but I think they just need to have their own, you know, special time. As far as the character for me, it it changed my life. So how could I say, I'm not going to do a Super Bowl commercial. Right, right. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I'd have to be the biggest <laughs> moron. Um, and as far as a spinoff of the character, you know, I discussed it with my boss a while back, and he didn't want to lose me on Suits to do a spinoff. Mm-hmm. So that didn't happen. And uh, as far as the future, you know, I mean, you never say never as far as a potential TV movie. Who knows? But I right. mean, I'm fine either way. Um, you know, I had luckily found a show that I was on and off during the pandemic, small amounts of billions. Yeah, billions. Then story. now starting to really want to work again, and uh, I've done a film here and there, and we'll see what happens. But like, I'm not like one of those snooty yeah. artists to go, oh, no, no he's yeah. had his. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was fun. Right. So as long as it's fun. Exactly. How did you make Lewis Lit your own? Because I'm sure you get a, a character breakdown before the show starts. You're auditioning. How did you make Lewis? Lewis? As my boss and friend Aaron Korsh would say, it was a really nice combination that I of sort of in certain ways opened a door for him and the writers to then make him into ultimately what they were they had the time to make him because if this show lasted two seasons he would have just been a douche right right but because they had the time aaron had always wanted and i don't know if you guys ever saw deadwood no it was a great show but he loved this one character that was really really like just a real bad guy and then ended up becoming the ant uh sort of the anti-hero yeah and that's what he kind of wanted lewis to become but not only did he become that he became this walking heart Right. who was pretty much crying every episode yeah. about something <laughs> emotional. So, I mean, to have that experience as an actor was was just, you know, so there was some input in the sense of the comedic scenes that Sarah and I had right. from Sarah mm-hmm. and myself. Aaron was very open, which was really cool. I think had it not been for him being open, I don't think the show would have been what it ended up being. You know, he, he was always allowing the actors to uh, give some of their input. Mm-hmm. Where were you in your career when this show started? Miserable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I had had kind of like what I had thought was my chance to have a show like that. I was involved in a, the time it was, I was on a show, fun show, it just wasn't doing well, uh, with John Stamos called Jake in Progress. Okay. And we were, they were taking forever to decide if we were going to come back for a second season. 
while that was happening. So I was contractually, I couldn't do right. anything, but I had an offer from David Kelly at the time to be on a show called Boston Legal. Mm. That was only six seasons that I couldn't do. Yeah. <laughs> I had to say no the day he offered it. Yeah. I had to say no to Stephen mm. Bochco when he was alive to do the last season of NYPD Blue while waiting to hear if a network's going to pick up a show that no one really was watching. Right. So I was like, that was my shot. I'm done. But a couple years later, uh, Aaron had remembered me from a show I had done years ago that was a legal show uh, called Philly. And... Uh, that brought me in the door for him to consider me for that role mm -hmm. of Lewis Lit. And luckily they chose me yeah. as opposed to someone else who was mm -hmm. up for the role. I mean, that's, it's really just a matter of. Do you know anybody else who was up for the role? Yeah, it was this great actor, Cress Williams, who is this mm -hmm. tall, six foot four black man for Lewis Lit. Between me and Cress. Quite, quite the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great actor. Yeah. That would have been Great a actor. different story. Could it, I mean, you know, and so, yeah. I mean, like, I'll never forget where I was when I found out I got it. Yeah. Uh, and um, and just from then on, it my life completely changed. Did you have to do any real studying? As far as legal? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I'm just going to read these lines and play right. around with That's it. That's <laughs> right. You can, I could sound like I know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I have a couple of terms that I still yeah. remember. If you're in conversation with a lawyer, could you like play I would it say, up? okay, so based on exigent circumstances, yeah. I personally think that, you know what, I'm going to put up an interlocutory appeal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's yes. about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And we're, like, we don't know what you're saying. So nope, we're like, he sounds like a genius. No, but it also it is interesting because it's something where it's like, oh, if the, the creators or the writers know or have seen you do like where there are procedurals where it's like okay he can the law talking about the law we we can buy that it it, it works mm -hmm. i feel like it's the same with um you know all the shows where there's doctors and 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 there's you're like god that person really sounds like they could be mm -hmm. a doctor well i mean <laughs> I, you know and with all kidding aside you i've learned i had learned over the nine yeah, years yeah. of what certain things were right. you know motion to dismiss yeah. motion yep, to those yep, things yep, you do yep. learn right and you do understand what you're saying yeah. it's just a matter of would i be able to then walk off of this set <laughs> right. and then have some lawyers yeah. speak with some real lawyers yeah. absolutely not which is why when people tell me this is a, it's an amazing thing when somebody says you completely inspired me to be, go to law school and I apologize to them because it is so not what we right you're like this is yeah. different like I didn't inspire you to become an actor like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would make more sense have you guys ever had lawyers reach out to you and be like you guys got this all wrong oh yeah yeah and oh then yeah you're kind of just like fuck off like we're yeah. just gonna do it the of way of course that, yeah. Oh, yeah because like you know if that would it's it's like you know, how seriously do you want to take it? You know, mm. what do you tell those people? It's a TV show, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, no, know, I'm sorry. Down. That would not be happening <laughs> yeah. in a trial. I'm right. like, congratulations, right, Brad you, Johnson, yeah, yeah. the lawyer. Yeah, because you, cause you do get that with shows with like Grey's Anatomy, oh, right? Oh, totally. People, like, doctors, nurses, yeah. they'll jump in and be like, that would never happen. It's like, right. yeah, of course. There's like 21 seasons of that show or, or right. whatever. And the you most many, absurd circumstances Exactly, like happening. you have to... and. Even the same kind of thing with the show like Suits. Like you have to have cases that start to get a little far fetched or yeah. something, something <laughs> yeah. where it's like it's a lot of seasons. It's yeah, we even stories. have actors on occasion that would say, you know what, that's not exactly. It's like guess what? It's a TV show, pal. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yep. that kind yep. of thing. So you're a New York guy, grew up on Long Island, and then now you're Canadian and you're in the permanent the resident. Permanent resident. Uh, what what was that switch of life? Like, like when you first started and you went out there for suits and I mean, it's a total change of pace, I'd assume, even though, of course, you guys film in Toronto. Toronto. So, mm -hmm. I mean, so, I mean, so, we, so we fake New York and Toronto yeah, for nine yeah. years and ultimately Toronto as, uh, you know, and it's a, it's a great city. And it's, I would say, as far as really feeling like you're in a different country, um, I get more of that in Montreal, mm -hmm. uh, even Vancouver. Toronto, mm -hmm. I would say it's the least of that because yeah. it's... You know, uh, but however, Canadians are are quite kind in general, and there is a difference of um, there's more of a laid back attitude that you do get in Toronto. But it's become a bustling, busy, 
traffic ridden city. Yeah. <laughs> so you're really like, and I'm sick of it. Right. Yeah. And you kind of right. So what? Ha- and I ended up then moving out to the to the to Lake Huron. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and um, and that's where you feel like you're you're in Canada, mm-hmm. and it's uh, it's been a really nice adjustment. I do miss Uber Eats. Yeah. Fair. We have no delivery where I live. Yes. And I'm a little bougie. Yeah. Yeah. So I miss the I miss the bougie comforts. Mm-hmm. Other than that, though, you know, I have a nine year old who's adorable and uh, yeah. plays hockey, and that's ultimately what I what I live for. So, I feel like you have to play hockey if you're in Canada, which I don't. Yeah, <laughs> not not you. But, um, <laughs> do you ever miss Long Island or or New York? City? I do. You, you do. Know, even just being here for the last couple of days. What, uh, what parts do you miss the most I mean, about the it? Food. Being from Long Island. Yeah, that food. that is the big thing. Is that when you go somewhere else, you can notice the difference in the food, especially New York City. You can get food at all hours. You can't get delivery. Yeah. <laughs> nope. My son uh, loves coming to New York. He's been coming to New York since he was born, and he just he's got his places. He's got his you know the Italian restaurant mm-hmm. that he loves. He's got the uh, the you know the Chinese restaurant he loves because he even knows like you know it's uh, it's a very special place when it comes to ethnic food. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's just delicious. How can you describe? And people can talk about their bagels being the best, but we all know it's right. You know, yep, it's right yep, here. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. That is very true. I, mean, I think the ones on Long Island are better than the city. We won't open that discussion, but I do no, think that yeah. the bagels on Long Island are way better than right? the ones in New York City. Yeah, and I don't want to be like that guy because I'm from Long Island, yeah. but I mean, it's true. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. And what is that? <laughs> How does that happen? Why Why does that happen? Right. So close, yet so far. I, I mean, let's have a separate <laughs> podcast about why bagels are <laughs> right. different on Long Island. Yes, exactly. You know, I actually walked, this is, you know, I walked past... Uh, there's a bagel shop right down across the street here pretty much. And I was walking to Penn Station the other day and there was a crowd of people outside and there was clearly like a, a leader, you know, and he had like his little tag up and they were a big group of people. And I just caught like a little bit of what he's saying. He's like, all right, so this is stop two on our, it was a full blown bagel tour. Wow. It was like, it's tourists. That I've heard a, of the pizza a, tours, but I not know. the bagel tours. It was a bagel tour. I was like, wow, you got to really gear up yeah. for a bagel how tour. Yeah, does that even work? <laughs> like, right. Right. Like it how was, many bagels can you yeah. eat? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Was this I mean, somebody... the, the pizza, they could do the little, you know, little squares or whatever, but bagels, I know. full bagels. Yeah, because yeah. like a pizza yeah. tour, you know, because you got your thin crust. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's not exactly you know, one slice each at each place. You yeah. can handle maybe a full day of maybe six places, something yes. like that, right? Bagels, though, I'm done after like a half with cream cheese. I'm done. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a whole Especially different story. Especially, they fill it yeah. up. It's a whole thing. Exactly. So, we were chatting before you sat down, too, and you said that there uh, was, you were familiar yeah. with us in a way uh, that we, we said save it to yeah. reveal it to Yeah, us. so basically right. during the to, pandemic, to <laughs> during the pandemic, <laughs> during the pandemic, I... I wanted to see what TikTok was all about because at the time, TikTok to me had a much more positive, you know, everybody was connecting Mm -hmm. when they were, uh, you know, everybody was staying in their own homes, but connecting through TikTok and whether it be, you know, through whatever, you know, certain trends, I know the whole, uh, I, it's awkward because I'm an older man and I should not be like high heels on my (laughs) TikTok. Like I shouldn't be knowing yeah. those things, mm-hmm. but throughout the whole <laughs> pandemic, um, I was, you know, um, you know, what's that uh, Willow song? But I know right now, right now, oh, I'm yes. sitting in a cloud. Oh wow! Yeah. They did that shuffle yes. to that. Yeah, That's yeah, where yeah. it started. Yeah. So it locked and then, you in, right? So I would fall asleep every night to the comfort of those things, watching mm-hmm. fights in supermarkets over mm-hmm. masks, yep, uh-huh. yep. UFO conspiracies. Yep. And other things. Yeah. Yep. And on occasion, I, throughout the years, because I still fall asleep to TikTok, I catch you guys. And that's the introduction to this. But like, I'm not, It you know, it's all through TikTok. Well, it's an yes. honor. <laughs> I know. An honor. It's that, an honor no, that we're a, in your sleep rotation. <laughs> and honestly, yeah. but it does, on my For You page. Yes. Right. Well, as long as just we're com- in the For You page, we're doing something right. Exactly. Yeah. It's just confirmation have for you us seen, that the whole TikTok thing works. Yeah. Have you, know? you seen any of um, our TikToks like about you? No. So those weren't on your For You page. No. We made plenty about you this fall. Well, then now I have to go look at the page page. <laughs> we, and... made a, we made a ton. Really? <laughs> yeah, with, with suit sounds and all that. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yeah. 
Suits sa- yeah. like suits sounds. Yeah, yeah theme songs. Theme songs. I mean, quotes, okay. lip syncs. Are you kidding? We had a, yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. We had a we had a shirt go viral with yeah. your face on it. Legally. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> yes. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> All right, that wraps Maybe. up today's episode. <laughs> Well, no, the on the holiday side of things, we oh we the do, ugly uh, sweater. We do yeah. like you know. Let's, I'm fully let's, aware of it. Let's get oh, lit okay. up, baby. Okay. Fully yeah. aware of it. That's fully right. aware of yeah. it. And that's uh, that was a that was, that was a you? smash hit. Yeah, that we was, have it. If you want to see it in person, no, that was us. the same high school friend said, "Hey, my daughter just got one." I'm like, "Really? Where's mine?" <laughs> we have one here. Oh man, you know, well, don't, you know. The- <laughs> hell yeah! Thank you. All right, t-shirt. That's not the our oh, holiday God, one. Don't, let's get lit don't up. do anything crazy I after can't. this, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think we all like each other here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, no, are you kidding me? Oh that's, my, that's hilarious. No, it was, it was. Do really... you understand how bizarre you would think in a hundred years when right. I came to LA in 1992 to wait tables and valet park and do all these ridiculous jobs, getting fired by millions of them, that this would ever be the case. Yeah. <laughs> it's an honor. Right. Yeah. And not only that, but have it happen in the way it did, where mm-hmm. it's like it's like a, it's a show that, like you said, had its time. People watched it. Certain certain countries maybe loved it more than others. It's true. <laughs> and did you get the come to Brazil? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I got yeah, a lot of I got a lot of like, invitations. And yeah. Netflix now, what was? Because everybody asks about like the group chat, right? Because they're you know uh, when we see uh, the Golden Globes, everybody's getting together, they're on stage, and they're, they're being asked a million questions, like, right. "Oh, did you guys all text about it when it right. happened?" And it's like, right, of course, right. Like, <laughs> that, you mean as far as who, like, who yes. I text, right? But isn't yeah. that just funny? Like, it feels like people ask, like, "Oh, did you text your cast?" So during the Golden Globes, like, yeah, I, I, think, I was yes. I was off that text because I was in South Africa. Okay, mm-hmm. I was doing a film. Yeah. So I, I was kind of like, where is he? You know what I mean? Yeah. That, oh, that's the reason why I couldn't go. Yeah. I, I uh, it was a little heartbreaking in the sense because I really would have wanted that experience right. to mm-hmm. see what that would have been like. But Sarah gave me the whole rundown of like who she had met and just the shocker of like, wait, this person is a fan. Th- those are the things I will never get over. Yeah. Sarah had run into uh, Larry David. So when yeah. so when Sarah uh, there was somebody who said hey Larry here is and Sarah herself is was beside herself yeah because Larry insane. David of course. No, I, and so also that's like, probably that's the hard, a dream that's the right. hardest stab of approval to yeah. get so the best ba- of the best and so basically she tells me you know she's like so Larry David sees Sarah and he goes it's you <laughs> it's you and he says to her it's me it's you know I binge the show I yeah. love the show that's and then incredible. and they were talking about something and then Sarah mentioned me and he goes. The, look, I love that guy. Yeah, <laughs> and that's all I needed to hear. Yeah, that's I the love best. that guy. Yeah, to my grave. Yeah. Oh my god, yep. that's incredible. And I feel like that's you know, of course, Larry David is the best of the best reaction you can get. But I feel like that was the kind of reaction for a lot of people when it came to your character. At first, I don't know how to feel about this guy, and then Lewis is the best. Lewis is the best character. Well, you know, and as I was telling, uh, I don't forgot who recently. It, the character is never going to get a medium reaction. Mm-hmm. It's either going to get I hate him. Right. Or uh, I love him, but it's always going to be extreme because he's so polarizing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So usually in the in the in the Jewish mother community from Long Island, yeah. <laughs> when my mother like you know basically um, somehow the conversation goes, oh, you should know his son is an actor, and it's always like, oh. Good luck. Uh, yeah, to right, you. Right, Good luck yeah, to you. Yeah, she's course, like, yeah. yeah. Is he in anything? I right. would know. Yeah, exactly. And then she'll go, well, there's a Stage. show. Stage. <laughs> so yeah. it slowly builds. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah. What's he, what, is, what, is he, what does he do for yeah. a living? So then my mother, and then she'll say, well, you know, he's on the show Suits. Suits. Then it builds. Suits. Oh, like on a regular basis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, oh well, which character? And then she mm. says, Lewis. She's like, get out of here. Get it. And then it's it, it, that it's always that. Get so out. so no way. Long Island. Yeah. What? And then immediately they want to get to know your mom. Oh, so that's much that. More. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. She's in. That. She's in. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that's either he's he's I don't like him. Yeah. Right. Or right. I love him. Yeah. But it's never. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, well, my, oh my family God. from Long Island. Loves you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Loves. It's 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 it's, 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 it's phenomenal. It's yeah. it, what can I tell you? It's a thrill. 
Are any of like has the cast kind of dispersed, or have some of them stayed in Canada? No, I'm no, a, yeah. I'm the only one. You're the only. I one. was the only one who stayed during the hiatuses. Yeah. Okay. Everyone else went back to their back to, their homes. Yeah, yeah. I chose to stay. Hence, you know, also having a son in the middle of it all right. who's Canadian. Um, you know, so I was I was yeah. there. Yeah. Why did it film in Canada and not New York City? I, it's a lot. Well, a lot, of, a a lot big, of productions film in yeah. Canada. Yeah. I think for um, saving money, mm. uh, it's cheaper. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. for that reason. Yeah. I mean, they did a great job of making it look like New York City. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, they did. I don't. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, because I always in, noticed. In the yeah, offices, yeah. it was like, okay, clearly, you know, the background. But like, on the street, not too bad. There were some. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Yeah, the mm. the, the food cart viable, like the bagel cart. All those that, were fine. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was what you weren't seeing. Yeah. Nobody, if they didn't know, would see. Like, there was just Toronto places, right. a Toronto special coffee place that was like a franchise yeah. that I always would see right. or a pizza place right. that would never do well in New York. Yeah. Right, right, I guess right. not knowing anything about Toronto, yeah. so I wouldn't it, pick it up on fine. it. So it was fine. Yeah. I, I will say, I think there are moments where I look for it because I know it where yeah. it's like living in New York mm -hmm. that I'm like looking, I'm like, huh. Or there, there was one scene I was watching the other day. They were out on the, on, on the rooftop and it was obviously supposed to look like they were out overlooking New York City. And I was like, this looks, I'm like, this is CGI. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I, can, yeah. I can tell. Well, there was no CGI ever. I, I don't know, because like, I'd it, seen on TikTok yeah. that, that people were like, this is completely fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we went to the building in Toronto to film buildings mm -hmm. of yep. New York. Yep. That was yep. real. Yep. Yep. Right. But, our, yep. but our curtain, I think Sarah revealed at some point, on, yes, on, that's where I realized. I was like, oh my God, it was like the, yeah, the big curtain. Mm -hmm. Which was pretty brilliant that a lot of people didn't know until then. Mm -hmm. It sort of looked real. Yeah, Works I felt like kind well. of an idiot. Like, I, was <laughs> no. like, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's, they do it specifically where they can really fool you. It, yeah. it, it, it's it's kind of cool. Okay, so we have to ask you because nine million people now are like, oh my God, Meghan Markle, look at, look at, look at what has happened and, you know, quite a change in her life but you guys all were at the wedding we were all at the wedding it Which was is the most incredible and what was that experience like? it was uh, I, I i i another experience that i will take with me until my dying day as incredibly special it was when you were on those grounds you it, it got like you 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 were like wow like it like all of a sudden you were just like slow everything down going where am i right now you did feel like you're in a different century yeah mm -hmm. um and then i kind of felt like i was in for whatever reason it reminded me when we were walk all of us walking down to the church thousands of people and it felt like there was a scene in like phantom menace <laughs> at the yes. end it just felt like just like this you know the palace and like all of these like just oh, so many people almost felt like it was cgi'd Right. But there were real people right. lining up. It just didn't feel real. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, we get into the church. And uh, I had that awful moment where I got, you know, you knew this, right? The, where right. You, if you type in my name on Google, you see my face oh. making that awful face. Uh, yeah. Okay. It, yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So what happened was, I don't know if you want to know, this yes, is kind yes, of fun. Yes, I'm going to Google it because I'm not familiar. Oh, wait till you see this face. So yes, because I actually did just Google this the other day. It was like, yeah, so basically, I mean, and, and, wedding. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. basically, <laughs> there you go. So basically, I come in and we're all excited to be there. And so I come up, it's because I like to mess around with Sarah constantly. So uh, I was doing something ridiculous. I don't know what I was doing, yeah. but I was like, isn't this exciting? Yeah, right, this right. is so great. Oh my God, we're at the Royal, like doing something. And she goes right. like this, cut it out right now. Right. Like, cut it out. The queen? You're acting like an idiot. Yeah. She's like, there are cameras everywhere. <laughs> Behave. Yeah. And I was like, what is your fucking yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get a hold of yourself? Lighten up. And go, yeah. And go do your ridiculousness over there. I'm gonna sit over here. <laughs> so I think that she's the idiot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I go and sit, and it's still air, and I'm sitting next to uh, Bonnie Hammer, the head of NBC Universal, who's nice enough to have me sit. Mm -hmm. You know. And then as time goes on, I'm starting to smell something really terrible and foul. I mean, is this what is this? Is this yeah. so such an offense? That somebody has terrible breath, but it was more than one person. 
and it was getting <laughs> over here. It was a group of them. <laughs> it, it felt like it yeah. because nobody's moving. So I'm starting to go get a little jittery because it's bothering me. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm very sensitive when it comes to that. So I start to try to do this because I have like a coconut <laughs> vanilla moisturizer that I and I just yeah. like to c- try to cut it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm doing things like this. And it's an hour and a half. So it's just constantly coming my way. Now it's getting into my body. <laughs> you feel it on your clothes. Yeah. Well, you, you know what? Have yeah. you ever had this experience? Yes. 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 Has anybody yes. out there yeah. and you who feel right like, now are offended by yeah. what I'm saying? No, and yeah, it feels you can't, like, you can't you feel shake like it's it. sticking with you and then you feel like you, you're starting to It smell. also gets worse mm-hmm. when you know you can't remove yourself mm-hmm. from this situation. Like, and like, you can't just get up and walk away. Yeah. How, you, yeah. If I did, then that would even be worse. Exactly. And it stays exactly. in the nostrils. Once like you, you have smell a funky sit. smell, it's yeah. hard to get it out. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now I'm starting to like, it's getting in here. So I'm just, how can I help getting away from this right. goofy face? Yeah, you're swallowing I'm it. just like, <laughs> I'm having a conversation with myself. Because then I go over to, I went over to them because I don't want them to think it's me. Right. Because mm-hmm. I'm That's so right. particular right. when That's... it comes to hygiene. So I'm like, do you guys smell that? Yeah. And, and they're like, so now I'm like literally by myself, mm-hmm. alone on an island, and I'm just going, mother. <laughs> And that's what they got because yeah. lo and behold, guess who was right, Sarah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all in the ca- all in the f- the flowers had yeah. come. So yep. they knew they got, they got you. Yeah. But isn't that the worst feeling though when you when you smell a funky smell? But you you know that you're particular about yourself and you don't want other people to think it's you, so you start bringing it up. Yeah. But then nobody else agrees with you, and you're like, okay, well now they're gonna think it's me even more because I brought it up and they don't smell it. Right. Or they're just pretending. Like guess who at- knew that the most in the cast that I had an issue with other people's hygiene. Megan. Megan. <laughs> yeah. Always knew and would always laugh about how yeah. I was She's, so sensitive. She sat you next to the stinky people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On purpose. Yeah. It was what just so were, ironic. Were you, uh, what was getting dressed like for that? Because, you know, we joked, you came in, you asked us a question about your jeans and, and, uh, wait, wait what? The for what? the wedding. For like, like, how do you, oh, there, you know, we were told what to right. wear. Right. Like you, there we all had to wear a mo- strict dress code. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I, we were all happy about it. We all yeah. got fitted from it. With our uh, with our designer, wearing a morning coat, and yeah, that was great. All of it was great. We did it feel like you were dressing up like almost to go to a like a movie set? Like, <laughs> um, no, it I felt like the we were. I so, hate you know? dressing up in general. So yeah. I was the only cast member that didn't know what he was wearing throughout the entire time. Everyone else, you know, was like, "What what shoes are you wearing?" Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't like the feeling. Yeah. Of being dressed up, just like I'm a five year old. Yeah. <laughs> I like to go to work in my pajamas, leave work in my pajamas, mm-hmm. hoodies, yep. pajam- yeah. sweats. So, the idea of you know, dressing up for the thing was fine, but I wasn't exactly like, "Oh, I'm," you know. I mean, the other cast members are very, they're glamorous. Yeah. Me. You know, I should. You know, I I wish I could have gone in a. Yeah. You know, you're only bougie of, when it comes to your Uber Eats. Uber Eats, hotels, mm. finer the, things. The most important things. Yeah. Would you think? <laughs> I think. I think. So. I think you got to be bougie when it comes to hotels sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, well, especially if you're a hygiene guy. Yeah. I am a hygiene so, guy. You know, I, I guess, but, uh, you know. Hotels. Yeah, I probably should be a little more. Um, careful based on some yeah. of the stories you hear about certain mm-hmm. you know lack of cleanliness <laughs> in hotels yeah. but I you know look I mean at the same time when I go with my son on his hockey tournaments up somewhere in you know nowhere That's Canada a smell there's hotels and I, we're we're cool with those. It's yeah. it's a, you know it's, it's that's just a part of the team. That's you know right. What I mean, yeah, yep. exactly, exactly. That's, that's a part of it. We're getting the wrap up signal over there. Yeah, wrap it up, guys. I know. God. I know. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. This it's was so a pleasure. Much fun. It was so much fun talking to you. Obviously, everybody's watching suits. Um, what I mean, what do you do? What do you do now? What do you have planned? Like when this you get a, on the momentum that is happening for you? <laughs> when it comes to actually working, yes. <laughs> um, there, I, I wish I could actually. I don't. I'm very superstitious. Yeah. And I don't want to so jinx fair. anything. And so I don't like fair. to touch the money. But I will say that we're very close to multiple things that could actually be really, really fun. There you go. So let's cross fingers. Yeah. I appreciate yep. the superstition. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, we are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Fair. Well, best of luck thank on, you. Those, yes. on those things. And thank you so much for joining us. My thank pleasure. Thank you.